Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I want to talk about a couple of things that the Lord has put on my heart this morning and last night. First of all, I just pray that you all understand the signs of the times and where we're at in the spirit realm. There's been a dimensional shift like never before. And here's what's happening. All right, as it is in the natural and as it is in the spiritual, so it is. And so here's what's happening. The reason why you're seeing so much stuff happen in the spirit realm is because, all right, it's just like when you're in church, we're in church setting, all right? When we're all praying, worshiping on one accord, and it's real and authentic, you feel the presence of God. You, you feel it heavy. It gets heavy. It gets heavy. Humans cannot do this. But when we worship God through spirit and in truth, you're summoning heaven. So heaven is literally coming down to earth. That's what happens. God says, two or three are gathered in my name. There I will be in the midst. And that's what happens. When we start praying, when we come together in unity, then the spirit of God descends and ascends. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so therefore the anointing is created. The atmosphere is changed. And that's what you're feeling. When it's truly the authentic power of God that is summoned down. The angels come. The presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's when people are healed, transformed. Hallelujah to his name. So as it is in the spirit on Godship side, it is on the entity of the devil, the kingdom of darkness. The reason why we're seeing a dimensional shift is because they have opened portals. They have, they have summoned demons like never before through music. Beyonce does it all the time. All of them do it all the time. Not, uh, not every last one of them, I'm sorry. But even also even in the Christian arena. There's such a form of entertainment. I'm not going to even go there. I, I, looked, I looked on a clip. I, I don't even know what it was. Y'all going to get offended like y'all always do. But that's fine in the name of Jesus. Everything that sounds good is not good. I'm listening. And I'm listening to good music. And it sounds good. Hallelujah. It sounds good. But I don't feel no anointing. Come on somebody. Those that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. So you have a spirit of entertainment that's overtaking the church. So let me tell you what's happening in this dimensional shift. So what's happening is all these porters cast spells, summoning demons. That's why there's uproar on the earth. You don't notice even now again, we're not attacking people. I'm talking about spirits this morning, even with the gay movement and all this other stuff. Let me tell you why they need to feed. It's called the need to feed. The reason why we're filled in this shift and this demonic oppression and suppression is because they're feeding it through the TV, through the media, through song, through dance. They're feeding it. Harry Potter. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All those illusion, magical shows that y'all allow y'all allow children to watch thinking it's Disney. Yes, Disney. All right. Dizzy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So uh, God is showing me all these porters, all, all these spells, all this stuff is being cast out. And can't you feel it in the atmosphere? It's the need to feed. You see, the devils know and the demonic activity is getting heavier because they're feeding it. Anything you feed enlarges, right? Saints! This is a warning God said, thus said the Lord. It is time for us to stop them in the name of Jesus. We have to start praying more. Let me tell you. There's a book that, that explains all of this because I, I, I could try, but some of you still would not get it because some of you, you, you have to read it in order to really digest it and perceive it in your mind. Some people are visual. Some people learn through just this video, but some people just really need to have something in their hand and say, oh, okay, I, I get it. The light bulbs come on. Piercing through the darkness. I read this book about um, almost 15, 16 years ago. Somebody threw it at me and I was like, I'm not going to read this because it's a real thick book. But I promise you it will take you to an era to you understand what I'm saying. It's called Piercing the Darkness. My class, they, that's a mandatory book that they read. And here's what he talks about. It was Frank E. Peretti. Oh, my God. This man is not famous, but let me tell you something. He's the one that started the spiritual warfare stuff. I don't care who came after him. All John Eckhart. All I don't care. If you go back to the day, it was Frank E. Peretti. God showed him some things that he didn't show anybody else. Everybody else just came and tried to perfect it. But he still was the foundation area. Come on, somebody. So he laid the foundation. And he said this. He 